Welcome back Hot Wheelers, uh, Craig here, Hot Wheels boys. I've got uh, the XJ220. So I am on stage two of, uh, of the build. So I'll just show you what I've done so far to the build. So first off, the wheels have been, uh, have been sanded down smooth. I have uh, done an, a wheel alignment using my uh, wheel alignment jig. I'll just show you what I did. So had the car, the XJ220 set up like that, like that there. I did one wheel at a time, setting the wheels to the maximum distance, pushing the wheels out, these two in the front first and then trying to get the gap in between the inside of the rim and the side of the the casting the same distance you can use a veneer or you could uh, use some card and put them in there and then i glued the axle in place i did it to the back as well also another tip is uh, the weights these are the weights that I've used I've uh, I've hammered them they started off round like these they're just uh, ball sinkers for fishing and uh, yeah I've just hammered them down to to fit so these ones here what I've done is in order to uh, to help with uh, with test when when I'm when I'm doing my tests test runs I put uh, some double sided tape if you can see that adhesive peel back double sided tape i put it down on the inside as you can see here i'm just peeling it off now because i'm i've uh, I'm, i've uh, already done a test run which you'll see the video coming up soon uh yeah so the my trick is double sided tape down at the bottom like that it sits down put uh, I've got three there so this is this is the uh, the front of the car on this one I've got I'm putting weight this time trying something different a little bit more weight in the front because uh, as you can see the XJ220 is uh, positioned like that and there's more gap towards the front of the car and then I've got that sitting there and then this one and then some uh, some play-doh so i've got some play-doh as well it's actually jordan's play-doh <laughs> i'll be using some of that yeah and then uh, the car gets assembled and then i i run and test it and if i'm happy with the weights because the weights will be be held in place they won't be able to move with the double sided tape which is uh, very good yeah so those are so that's what i do to get the wheel alignment it's the first time doing this style of wheel alignment with uh, putting some epoxy glue to uh, secure the axles because what i noticed in uh, road warriors 2 if you watch the if you've gone and watched those races uh, you would see the uh, mitsubishi evo that i submitted uh, it was tending to pull to one side so i'm trying to get a better run just like uh, if you see mark d's uh, mark d's car the uh, what do you call it? Uh, the pink, the pink car driven by uh, Big Sam. The NASCAR car. That's the one. Also, that's the word I was looking for. Sorry about the little pause, but of uh, memory loss there. <laughs> yeah. So I'm trying to prevent that. So we'll see. I'm gonna go and do some test runs. I'll probably do uh, two setups double curve and single curve with the long straight to see what happens and yeah as you can see also i've got two vans in the background uh yeah i've tested this one i haven't tested that one so this one i got it from an op shop for a for a dollar the price is still on there i picked it up the wheels were good so i'm gonna see not bad the wheels run really well not too bad made May try and two wheels up on the front one, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes with the bit of added weight in there. Ho ho! 
think they'll be flying. We'll see. It's going to be exciting racing next year. So, yeah. If you like my videos, guys, please, uh, you know, give me a thumbs up. Especially if you like Hot Wheels, diecast racing. <laughs> give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and you want to see more stuff like this, uh, I intend to do it every time I do a build. I will show you what I do and where I place my weights, you know. You guys may want to do it as well. You may, you guys may have some extra tips that I don't know. So please uh, do comment, give me feedback on what you think. If, if you know, if, if you think I'm doing anything wrong, you know, Four Boys been uh, very helpful. He's, uh, you know, he's told me about this wheel alignment jig in uh, season two. So I managed to get one 3D printed, and he also sent some links uh, about uh, the wheel alignment and how to set the, set them up. So yeah, I followed that, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So thanks guys, thanks for watching and uh, keep on not willing and bye for now.